Hey everyone, welcome to this weekend Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is going to be from March 25th through the 27th of 2016. I'm Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below because the signs are different. All right, so this weekend coming off of that lunar eclipse still from Virgo, still very much highlighting this uh, illuminating time, a lot of insight and usually with the full moon slash lunar eclipse energy, a sort of status check. And the status check here is where we've been progressing in our life in terms of our spiritual growth, our spiritual development and improvement. So this is gonna continue as we approach the next eclipses in September. And so now it's a good halfway check to see exactly uh, how things are in this area, what can be improved, what can be embedded, so that we can move forward in our both physical life and our spiritual life. So this weekend on Friday, the moon is going to still be in Virgo. In fact, uh, Saturday, the moon will be shifting into Libra, so a little bit on Saturday too, very much emphasizing the middle path with the analytical energies, right? That healthy amount of <clears throat> mental energy, of analyzing things, of seeing where we can, again, have that refinement in our life, that growth and whatnot, and perhaps things relating to our diet, our routine, and things like that can be great with the moon here. Now on Friday in particular, we are we do have some very important aspects. Um, a lot of this was coming off of Thursday too, uh, one of which is Saturn is going retrograde for roughly the next five months. So with this one, there's this re-examining now in terms of what we've been building in our life. And this has been specifically in terms of things that are hopefully true, you know, hopefully real, hopefully raw and meaningful to us, which has been Saturn in a fucus. So now as Saturn dips back into Scorpio and we go through this reflective time, I think this weekend it's a good time to just sort of pause for a second and re-examine and reflect on some of these things that we're building. Uh, maybe even the future too, our productive side could be the case. Even our mature side, you know, because Saturn is the aspect of our personality that's very grounded, very mature, and wants to make sure everything is done right. So I think that's a good way of uh, working with it and uh, seeing again what really matters to us in life. Now, along with this, of course, Jupiter is still squaring up to that Saturn. So it's a reminder that there are things unfolding along the life path, but they do take that patience. They do take that persistence, which is another good thing to re-examine at this time. Now, also on Friday, Venus is going to be squaring up to Saturn. So with this, in fact, Venus is going through kind of a tough aspect in the chart here, <clears throat> forming this T-square with um, Jupiter and Saturn. So on one hand, you know, first of all, v Venus is about our relationships and about our values. So with this opposition from Jupiter, there can seem like there's this rift, this disparity between um, our relationships and our values in our life in some sense, that there's a big difference between them and perhaps where we're headed and the life path and how things are unfolding. Perhaps even on a sense too of feeling like there's some areas that might be unfulfilled with our values or relationships. So the key with this is with all oppositions, it's all about balance, right? And so it's important to see that we do want to balance any over extremes we might be seeing in terms of these areas of life. Balance any excess, perhaps, with the enjoyments. And all in all, too, anytime we're involving a aspect like this with Venus and Jupiter, it's good to be grateful. You know, really be grateful for what we have in our life, both on the value and relationship level. Now, along with that, because Venus is squaring up to Saturn, it could feel a bit limiting on Friday as well. So it's a good time to see the constructive and patient and mature elements to working with our values, working with relationships. Where can we have a healthy amount of limitation, self-actualized -actual limitation, self-discipline, and seeing where we can have, again, that maturity when it comes to those simple pleasures and relationships. Now, as we go into Saturday with the moon shifting into Libra, I think, um, especially as the day unfolds, it'll be a bit more about tact and working with others and mutuality and cooperation, and the aspects get a bit easier to work with in this sense. We've got a nice trine between the sun and Mars, suggesting perhaps energy, vitality, and momentum to uh, move forward and to assert ourselves perhaps in some way, maybe even to initiate some things in our life. Could be confidence, could be expressing that confidence perhaps quite easily. And we could be feeling this on Friday leading up to it as well. Now Venus, after all that more challenging stuff, I feel like on Friday is going through a harmonious aspect with Pluto, suggesting that there are things transforming 
with those values and with those relationships, particularly as we approach Saturday. So the key with this is that it's all about endings and beginnings with Pluto, right? So there's some elements about our perspective of relationships, our perspective of our values that is being released, that is being transformed into this new perspective, right? And the new perspective, and in fact, all of this transformation that's happening with Venus here, uh, it's all about where we can have this greater sense of enjoying freedom in life, being our true self. And it's through being our true self and enjoying that unorthodoxy and eccentricity, it comes through relationships. And it's through those relationships that I think it's great to work on and just accentuate those qualities of individuality there, independence in many ways. So that can be quite nice and some old things about that being released for some new things to be um, cultivated now as we approach the rest of the weekend. Now, the moon is going to be forming some nice aspects as we go into Sunday with the moon shifting into Libra. Um, Saturday could be easy going. The moon does trine up to Neptune, so that could be quite nice. Uh, sex dialing up to that Jupiter and Pluto stuff going on, then does trine Venus. Okay, so these are more opportunities to enjoy, I think, those relationships and maybe the deeper intimacy in relationships because Pluto oftentimes is that deep connection. And here it could be with our values. It could be the, with those one-to-one -one connections. And then does sextile to the North Node, again, suggesting easier implementation of this life path stuff. And with the Moon in Libra, again, cooperating, mutuality, and working in harmony with others. So all in all, the weekend, I feel like it's kind of this shifting point. And the shifting point is coming from Friday into Saturday, where I think Friday it's good to have that grounded, patient approach that balanced and moderate approach to relationships, to our values, perhaps some re-examination, re perhaps some reflection in terms of our life path. And then as we go into Saturday, a bit of the easier expression, perhaps um, momentum, energy moving forward with this trine up to Mars, perhaps some healthy transformations with those one-to-one -one connections. And then again, easier aspects with the moon as we approach this still very illuminating and self-actualizing time of the life path energies with the eclipse. All right, so hope you guys have an excellent weekend. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on Monday. Take care.